Hello, my name is Precious Makai. I'm 21 years old. I was born on 17th July 1999. I want to go to university because I want to change the kind of way of living in my family. I'm the youngest from the family of seven. I have four older sisters and two elder brothers. So both my parents were born and raised from the village and uh, they've never been to school. So all my sisters and brothers, they've never been uh, to school. They've never been to uni because uh, my dad couldn't support them financially. So due to financial problems, it has been a going on chain in my family where no one goes to university. And so life has been so hard with us. But I want to make a difference. I want to go to university so that I can change the kind and standard of living in my family. I also want to go to university so that my mom can be on proper medication because she's getting old. Both my parents are getting old and my mom has been sick for 14 years. She was first found with pneumonia. Um, this ended up affecting her chest cavity. She fails to breathe well sometimes. She coughs. Uh, in her lungs, she's got some fluid. So I want to get proper medication for my mom because uh, it's always expensive. I also want to go to university so that I can help patients out there. The course that I want to do is nursing. So I want to help people who are sick in hospitals. I want them to have my helping hand uh, so that they can feel that they are being loved. You know, as patients, they need proper care. Mm, I also want to go to university so that I can make a difference not only in my family but also in the community um, i want to inspire youths out there to know that it's never too late uh, it's never too late it's never too early because uh, most people give up on education but i've got hope and faith that one day i'll be in university so i want to inspire my fellow youths to always Keep on their goals and always have faith and hold on to their dream. And definitely one day there is always a difference and a happy time in life. So I'm really asking for everyone out there to help me to go back to university, to go to university. I mean, um, I want everyone to help me so that I can make a difference in my family. No one has ever been to university and... I really appreciate if everyone out there helps me to go to university. My family will appreciate. So this is firewood. Um, we cook on firewood here. We have no electricity at our house. So for us to just cook, we need to make sure that we get firewood in the bush and make fire to cook shima and anything that we need to feed ourselves on. So in order to sustain ourselves, we always have to go out there in the bush. Out there in the bush um, to get firewood and cook shima. Then life is so hard because because fire uh, to get charcoal in Zambia is very much expensive. So we make firewood in order for us to cook shima. Then this side uh, is a garden. This is our garden here. For us to live and to find food, we depend on these vegetables. We, we get vegetables to cook, shima, and sometimes we even cook relish without cooking oil because life is hard here. And this is beans. That over there is our toilet. We just made it ourselves. That black thing they are showing is our toilet and our bathing room. This is my house here. and. Our house has got no windows, life is so hard, so I want to go to university so that I can make a difference in my family because no one has gone to university yet due to financial problems. Our house has got no windows, so it's so risky because we stay in the bush. Then, um, this is my environment, so I want to go to university so that I can change things. This is our kitchen, as you can see. This is our kitchen here. As we cook our food, this is where our kitchen is. Our kitchen has no door. It's so risking. As you can see, we have no door in our house. We just sleep like that. 
and life has really been hard this is our drum we fetch water and heal this drum in order for us to have water on a daily yeah. basis we have no water so where we fetch water from it's very far it's like a 30 minutes walk and for us to get water we just ask from our neighbor's house which takes time for us to have water and there are sometimes we run out of water this is where i stay that's my father over there he's making some holes out of out of um uh wood so that we can garden and plant some vegetables for us to eat so this is my father this is my old man that i talked about in the first video so this is my father he was he, he grew up from the village and he's never been to school so he can't take me to school due to financial reasons and he doesn't work hi everyone so i just wanted to add something at the end of this video um my name's Ravina. i met precious last year when i went to zambia and me and precious um we formed a really close friendship like i would say we're sisters so you know when someone becomes your family you want to do everything in your power to help them and that's what i'm trying to do here so help me help precious i really really want precious to achieve her dreams just like we here in the uk strive for hours so um just give what you can like we're not asking for everyone to give loads of money like if you can just give one pound two pound it's still something so yeah thank you for your time and i really hope you donate thank you